New images have been released from the areas that are called the Roads of Death by soldiers of the invading Russian army and are constantly targeted by Ukrainian drones. As can be seen from the footage taken by the Russian military, the quadricycle on which the invaders were moving was damaged by exploding on a mine and was later attacked by a drone. The soldiers tried to shoot down the drone, but they were unable to do so and fled the area. In addition, the occupying soldiers moving with vehicles also demonstrated the combat equipment that caught fire after being attached by Ukrainian drones. As can be seen from the footage, a large number of armored fighting vehicles, trucks and cars were destroyed by drones on the road used by the invaders. Автоматически стреляй. Бегом! Journalists managed to talk to Russian conscripts captured in Kursk. They all tell the same stories. None of them had combat experience and there was nothing to defend themselves with. We retreated without a fight. Only mortars and drones were firing at us. Mortars and drones. We retreated 28 people. The whole platoon. There was not a single wounded and there were no fatalities either, said one of the conscripts of the Radio Liberty Project, Donbass Rili. He served on the border between Russia and Ukraine for four months and claims that he understood that it was dangerous there, but he had no idea that the Ukrainian armed forces would break through. Another prisoner said that they didn't even know exactly where they were. And after the Ukrainian troops advanced, they simply went into the forest. We spent two nights somewhere in the forests, moved during the day closer to evening and then walked again during the day. We looked for water and food. We hadn't eaten or drunk for a long time. We found our position, a mortar, a cannon. Until the moment they took us, I didn't see a single person, only drones and that's it, he said. According to the third person at the beginning of their military service, they were not told anything about the war and that they would take part in it. Even the demobilized soldier reassured them, saying that everything was calm in Sudza. He basically said that when he was in Sudza, something was constantly happening in Belgorod, sabotage and reconnaissance groups or drones were flying. In principle, he says, there is nothing terrible about it. That's all. He came to Sudza. Hourly service. Everything is quite calm, he said, about conversations with the demobilized soldier and his first months in service. The conscripts admitted that they were scared only in the first minutes after they were captured. They say that there were various rumors among their fellow soldiers about what was happening to prisoners in Ukraine. They said that prisoners of war are beaten, abused and not fed. But when we were captured, they immediately changed our clothes and gave us the opportunity to wash. They feed us three times a day. They give us bed linen, clean. No one complains. Everything is fine, said a captured conscript. All three say that they joined the service only to avoid problems with work in the future. After the exchange, they do not want to return to the army. Russian conscripts who were captured in the Kursk region are not forced to work, are allowed to play board games and are fed meat and vegetables. According to the wife of one of the prisoners of war, the conscripts conditions are like those of a pioneer camp.